Hello Aquarius, it is the Sun Sage, and thank you so much for tuning in to another April love reading. Um, this is for those of you who are Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and um, cross watchers who could be connected to Aquarius. I'm actually going to take a sneak peek into you guys' love life, the recent past, the now, and the, re and the near future to see what is going on and what is coming in. So again, this is a general message. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but I want to see what's going on for you guys um the month of april all right so let's see what happened in your recent past in love let's see aquarius what happened codependency in reverse so this feels like you finally freed yourself from an ex from a toxic partner from a toxic cycle this feels like boundaries okay healthy boundaries here with codependence in the reverse let's see what's happening now in your love life for aquarius thank you so much what's going on for aquarius in their love life right now we have communication and it feels like it feels nice it feels like good communication it feels like frequent communication with somebody this says dear my love so there could be somebody here falling in love with you or in love with you here um let's see what we have for aquarius you guys are texting somebody right now possibly while you are receiving this message what's coming in for aquarius is in love thank you control okay so you guys could have an emperor type person you could have somebody who gets very possess possessive of you because it starts off as them liking you a lot and then it gets into this really weird space of control and it feels like you just released yourself from somebody who was possibly controlling so this could get complicated but let's see where this goes what happened in the recent past with aquarius what happened in the recent past with Aquarius? Somebody broke up with their person in March. That's the energy that I'm picking up. Somebody um, released someone in March. What's happening here? We have the star in reverse. That is your energy. So yes, I do feel like there was somebody who was stealing your joy. There is somebody who was making you not believe in love and true relationships again. And there was somebody you just gave up on. You no longer saw a future. You no longer saw a path for you guys to be together. I feel like that star in the reverse is basically confirming what we saw in the codependency in reverse. Something needed to be released, right? A lot of you may have felt like you have false hope in this person. Like at some point, right? Aquarius, give it up, right? That was your conversation with yourself. Um, and I feel like this person was taking a lot out of you. You were not yourself anymore. Um, you may have been feeling like you weren't um it may have been impacting your own self-esteem here so you moved on six of swords confirming that energy that can be you as well some of you may have moved on from another air sign here that you were connected to but um you found peace three of swords <clears throat> Some of you moved away from them because they were talking to someone else who could also have been an air sign. So there could have been three air signs in this sort of situation here. It doesn't have to be that way, but that's a strong energy coming through that there were, there was an Aquarius dealing with maybe a Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarius who was connected to somebody who was also an air sign in a third party. And I feel like you released this person. Um, the other energy showing up is that you had somebody that you, you weren't at peace with. With, right there was something not peaceful about their presence about what they were giving what they were offering and i feel like you released it because this person was hurtful now just because you move away from someone <clears throat> excuse me just because you break up with somebody that does not mean that you're not going to still feel something so i do feel like the three of swords is some aquarius is here may have had a hard time separating from this person it may have been a really painful process i do feel like you healed from that but it does feel like yeah seven of swords a lot of you really had to go through a lot um to really convince yourself no we're not going back to that we're not sneaking back into that situation we're not allowing that person to sneak back to us some of you have somebody who was hurting um, or who was trying to take advantage of the fact that you were possibly vulnerable and hurting the fact that you guys um, separated. And so they were going to be like, I know you miss me. They were going to text you with their, their same thing, their game. And a lot of you were like, no, 
don't let this person sneak back into your life. They already feel like they were preoccupied. You see, you, you feel me like with the three of cups here. So I feel like this person already had other things going on. You may have picked that up. That three, that third party energy is very strong with this one. So I feel like a lot of you were like, I'm no longer going to waste my time here. I've been planting these seeds for seven months, seven years for a very long time. It's time for me to give it up, right? This person is not the person that I need to be with. They're toxic. They're unhealthy. And the eight of cups is confirming that while you were planning to be with them for a very long time, it just didn't work out like that. So a lot of you released yourselves from them in this situation with the eight of cups here. And you felt a lot happier doing that. You felt a lot more relief doing that. Okay. So what's happening right now in your love life is, like I said, I'm picking up on frequent text messages. This feels like very flirty text messages. A lot of you have somebody that you're getting naughty with in the text message realm. So I do. Yeah. Um, two of uh, pentacles. A lot of you are juggling like this and you know your life okay so i feel like this person isn't consuming you right now you're like whatever happens happens right you don't have a lot of um you haven't invested a lot in this in this new thing right it may feel good um it may feel like it's headed in the right direction but a lot of you are still um you know sort of managing um dating for now, right? Not necessarily committing, just really dating or just enjoying. So I do feel like there's something here about you guys do have a lot. Um, I feel like there's somebody here who's like, I have a lot to lose. I can't afford to invest, um, in anyone who's not investing in me. So I have to see, right? Um, how much I want to give to this person. But yeah, we can flirt, we can text, we can do all of that. But, you know, I have a business or I have businesses. I can't allow myself to get emotionally invested in somebody and it doesn't work. And then all of a sudden, the other things that I'm passionate about start to fall by the wayside. So a lot of you are very focused here, um, very determined to, you know, keep this person in your life. I'm going to do that again because that was too many. Um, you're determined to keep this person in your life. You're enjoying it, but you're also not settling down right now with them until you see. Yeah, the Knight of Wands, this actually feels like you. I feel like this is that flirtation happening in those text messages. A lot of you have given yourself enough room to, you know, give a little bit to this person, a little bit more of what you possibly give to other people while you also take care of yourself and your own needs. So that Sagittarius energy or that fire energy is very strong here. Um, and you guys feeling like, look, we can date, we can go out, we can, you know, we can chat. But, um, right now I'm fully invested in, um, my boundaries, seven of wands, standing up for myself. So if you do cross any lines, um, with me, it'll probably be over fairly quickly because I don't feel like you guys are giving anybody else any second chances. Six of wands that wanted to come out in the reverse and flipped. Okay. And the upright. So that tells me that there's somebody here that's winning you over more than you expected them to. That feels like somebody who you did start off saying, I'm not looking for anything serious. I can't say that I want to be with you. And now they're starting to win you over. This could be a fire sign here. Leo Sagittarius are strongly here. And this is at the bottom of the deck again, confirming that you guys could be playing hard to get with them. Um, but they feel very interested. This person is hard to resist. They're very flirty. That's too many. I'm going to do that again. Let's see. Ace of Cups in reverse and the Page of Swords. You are not receiving any cups of love, any offers, any promises until you are sure that that is what this person means to do. Page of Swords. I need more information. I need more clarity about you. This looks wonderful. It looks nice, but I'm refusing to receive that cup that this fire sign or that this person that's very interested in you seems to be offering until you know what their true motives are. Strength is um, representing that. I feel like you guys have a ton of discipline right now because this person feels very sexy. They feel very convincing. They feel like they know how to just say the right things and do the right things. And a lot of you are like, nope, still not budging. You know, we can still text, we can still hang out. But a lot of you do need more information. You need to see how this person responds and behaves in certain situations. You also need to, you know, give a little bit more, um, um, give a little bit more into this situation before you decide on this person, right? So this actually feels like some of you are having fun 
right now and you're not accepting anything major, um, even if that's something that you ultimately want, you um, are working on your trust issues. And so this person does have to um, be able to show you that they're serious, right? So this page of swords is you need a lot more information about this person. You need to get to know them a little bit more. Control what's happening in your near future. <clears throat> This could be the why you have, there are some Aquariuses here who it does not matter who you end up with. They, they always turn out to be controlling. They could have stalker energy. We do have the page of swords. A lot of you have noticed this person possibly asking things like, where were you? What were you doing? Who were you with? Things that, you know, you're not really cool with, right? You like somebody who's attentive, but not controlling. So that may be an issue that comes up with this particular person. Why do we have control here? Um, it's the high priestess in reverse. Yeah, the person you're connected to has trust issues, okay? They have trust issues, and when they start to like someone, the way they're starting to like you, they start to kind of go a little bit cuckoo. Um, could be a Pisces here. This person gets um, out of control emotionally. Um, they start assuming you're dealing with other people, and maybe that's not something you guys discuss that you would deal with other people, but I feel like this person will have a problem with that. Um, the hermit in reverse. Yeah, they have a hard time trusting themselves. They have a hard time trusting people around them. I feel like this is somebody who has not healed from past traumas. This is somebody who has not done the inner work. Okay, confirming that a part of their controlling energy is coming from the fact that they never really addressed it. And so dealing with you, another person that they're starting to fall for, is actually going to trigger them. Okay, your vibes are going to trigger them. Um, yeah, page of cups, ace of wheels. And, you know, they, they feel like they want you and no one else can have you. That's what this feels like, right? You're mine. You're my Aquarius. No one else can have you. This is someone who likes to win. King of wands. You could definitely have a fire sign. All right. They feel like you are theirs. They feel like you are the person they want to have a new beginning with. And yeah, the world, um, in the reverse, by the way. So this person is going to have a hard time letting you go, all right? It feels like they are going to try to force some offer on you. Um, It feels like they are going to try to, you know, what's wrong with me? Why are you not, you know, going, like, why are we not together yet? Why are we not, um, you know, making this happen yet? They are going to try to, like, press the issue, right? So they feel like they are going to pursue you heavily here. They're going to have a really hard time releasing you if this is, like, something where you say, you know what, I'm not ready for this. Judgment in the verse in the reverse confirms that I feel like this person is somebody that, again, they get very triggered by rejection. This person gets very triggered when they feel like they're being played or when they feel like they have somebody who um, is very free. So, you know, this will be up to you guys, right? You could be dealing Scorpio energy here. You could be dealing with somebody who has a problem with partners who, um, you know, still go out, who still have friends of the opposite sex who, you know, they have issues with things like that. And so that may be something you discover about this person that may decide whether you leave this alone or not. But right now I feel a lot of hard to get energy, but this person, they're drawn in, they love it. Um, they just could have some possessiveness that starts to show very soon. All right. So Aquarius, that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.